morning, everybody. Quite early. I was up at 5.30, drinking a cup of coffee. Uh, taking in the sun to just wake up my body, feel better, ground in the morning. And I think this is actually a great day to happen during this four week cut. And this is something that I think you guys can learn from. So as you see in this morning, I weighed in at 2.15. Remember, we started this cut at 2.14. So what happened? I'm gonna use two references that I'm gonna put down below that you guys can go check out to explain this matter. And I'll tell you exactly what happened because I track it all the time. So whenever I get less than, I'd say six and a half to eight hours of sleep, my weight is completely off. Um, last night I drove my mom to work. I went to bed by 12.15. I woke up at 5.30. So right there, that's not even close to the same amount of hours that I get during the week. I really wanna get this goal to show you guys that you can do four to five pounds in a month, and that's why I'm doing this. So there's a study published by the Journal of Psychiatry and Neuroscience, pretty much explaining that if you get less sleep than you're supposed to, what's recommended is seven to nine hours. Everyone is different. I seemingly function really well on six and a half and everything is good for me, but yet they did state that if you don't sleep the amount of time or the alluded time that you're supposed to, you're gonna go into a hormonal cascade and pretty much become hormonally handicapped which just throws off everything so it throws off your goals that you wake up bloated you woke up stuffy you feel you don't feel as like dry as most bodybuilders will say another study explained about your immune system so the immune system gets revamped gets recovered you get a whole bunch of immune recovery when it comes to sleep so sleep is going to be really important for that part and a journal came out in the Journal of Immunology that explained that this does not happen and this is why sometimes if you do lack sleep, you get sick a lot quicker because your immune system takes the biggest toll. And that's pretty much what happened to me because I did wake up this morning with a little bit of some neck. <coughs> cough, cough. And then again, the Journal of Neuroscience came out with another published article that's talked about leptin levels. And when you lack the sleep, your leptin levels are out of control. So your cravings are off, your fat loss is completely off. And they actually, in the study, they explained that they took 12 healthy men from the age of 22 and 30 years old. They monitored their caloric intake, their, ap their appetite, their hunger cravings on two days of good sleep and then two days of restricted sleep. And it showed that the individuals that slept less so the restricted sleep group saw an 18% drop in their leptin levels, which increased their appetite up to 23%, which is a massive, massive increase when it comes to hunger cravings. And especially when you guys are gonna be in that kitchen looking for food, you're really gonna go for those high calorically dense foods. So your brain is really gonna trigger you to go for those most of the time those non-healthy fats, those processed food, the processed sugar, the cookies, and everything because it knows it's calorically dense and that's what it's looking for. So this is what really stunts your fat loss goals. But we're gonna continue sitting outside. That's just a little information for you guys to know. Hopefully this coffee is gonna make me poop. Today is Canada Day here in Montreal, July 1st. So we are training with Pops. I'm gonna bring him to the pool because he has to do his swim workout today. And I'm just gonna kinda of guide him and show him how to do the swim because he's not the best at swimming. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna do it with him. And then today we got a whole bunch of stuff planned. I kinda of really do wanna train twice. So I'm gonna do this swim workout and probably another workout. I don't know how that's gonna pan out, but we'll see. And uh, we're probably gonna fast until past lunchtime. So yeah, I'm enjoy the coffee. I'll see you guys in a bit. So swim workout is done with pops and how do you feel? I told you, I'm stressing out, it's tough. <laughs> it's the, the longest 500 meters of my life. So today we worked on his breathing because he was swallowing a whole bunch of water. Yes. And we worked on a couple <clears throat> of learning how to just kind of lift up your legs so you're not dragging your legs throughout the swim, right? Yes, sir. And uh, what else did we do? We, okay, no. my, my dad did a lot of flipper work just because the flippers are really gonna help him lift his legs up with the kicks so kinda, it could keep him streamlined so then he could work on the breathing with the paddle board uh, or with the floaty and then also with uh, just rotating on the strokes. You did how many? I need, I need to work on this. Yeah. So like, guys, if you don't swim, 
when you first learn how to swim, you learn to rotate your head to breathe, right? But if you think about it anatomy wise, if my watch is my neck, right? If I turn this way, a lot of the times people lift their head up, which is gonna drag their legs down. So what you kinda wanna do is rotate, but bend upwards. So can you hold the camera? Swim, and then when they wanna breathe, they do this. So their head does this, and it makes their legs fall down, so you drag in the water. But we're trying to teach my dad is that when he's swimming, to come here, rotate, but then also dip the neck like this so your lips are out so you can take that breath but also doing that to your neck lifts your legs up just due to the anatomy of your body anytime you move someone's neck their whole body is going to follow so that's the point of that drill that's what we're trying to work on and what else that's, that's it. it that's, that's it. enough uh and then my workout was a 10 minute warm-up uh and then i did 10 times 25 meters with 20 second break just on drills. So I did a couple of pulls, a couple of kicks, a couple of streamline, uh, a couple of breathing. And then the bulk of the workout was a 10 times 50 meter, 25 hard, 25 easy, 20 second break, uh, 10 times, followed by a five minute cool down. And that was today, which comes out to about the bulk of the workout is like 750 meters. And then add everything together. It's like just a little over a K of a swim. And my dad did roughly like 600. 600 meters, which was really good. So that was today. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna make a smoothie. Green smoothie. Meal of the day, if it works. 100 gram of tofu. We got mushrooms, cucumbers. We got walnuts, uh, tomato, cookies. <laughs> Sabrina wants more cookies. <laughs> we got avocado. And then this is gonna be day three of the cut. Then I'm gonna go back outside and enjoy the sun and try to fix the tan line, cause my arms are way too dark from internship. <coughs> I'm just fucking choked <coughs> on rice. <coughs> we're all done from the pool, and now we're gonna munch on some, or I'm gonna munch on some avocado and cucumber roll sushi. Then I also got this 100% Peruvian chocolate, which was a mistake. So usually what I do at home when I have 100% is I recook it with like some stevia or monk fruit, and then that's kind of like, you're getting the 100% cacao without all the added like cane sugar and everything else. But uh, just on its own, very bitter, very bitter. We're gonna eat this and then, I'm still eating the chocolate. I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna go watch the fireworks for Canada today. But that's gonna be the end for food. But I'm gonna show you guys the fireworks and then we'll end the vlog. Good morning everybody, and it is week two of the Summer Shreds program. I'm over here, I just woke up. Clearly, you can see my hair is all over the place. I wanna give you guys a little update from last week. So, this is no flex. This is flex, front view, a little side view. I don't know how I'm gonna do this back view, but. Little back view. Then we go the other side. And then bam. Now let's go check how much weight we dropped. All right guys, so we're weighing in at 210.6 and 13.8%. Pretty good. And a quick interruption before the vlog ends, guys. Two things happened that day. First of all, no fireworks at all. I think what happened was the fire trucks that stationed where they wanted to do the fireworks, they realized that it was too close to where everyone was, so it caused danger, so they actually had to cancel the whole thing, so there was no fireworks. 
Then second, the update that you just saw now was one week out. So this is a mixture of day five and day seven together. I just filmed my weight and everything. And what's cool for you guys to see is that two days later when I did fix my sleep and everything, I hit an all time low for this weight cut particularly. So in about one week, I went from 214 back up to 215, back down to 210.6. So just something for you guys to see. And I hope you guys are continuing to join this journey. And for those of you who signed up to my email list, which is the first link down at the bottom in the description, you guys are receiving all of this and you guys are seeing the same type of results that I am and I hope that you're enjoying the program and following along. Again, if you haven't subscribed guys, you guys can. It's the first link down below. There's gonna be other free challenges, free workout programs.